Hey guys, what's up? My name is Prez and welcome to this very, very special video. So this is one of the our last placement matches when it comes down to my private EASHL team that I have with my two of my friends. And this is our last placement game. And I got to tell you guys, this game is very, very interesting. It ended in overtime. I'm not going to give you guys the results. You guys can watch the video for yourselves. But I want to talk about a few things um, about this game. Uh, yeah, about this game, what will happen, and what actually happened to me recently that I'm actually really, really excited about. I wanted to talk about it in the last episode of NHL Be a Goalie, and it happened a couple days ago. So it, it it's it's been a couple days since um, since that has happened, and it's actually pretty amazing, and it's actually kind of perfect timing. As we go along, obviously, we're coming up to Christmas. We're coming up to, obviously, people buying gifts for their families and everything. Um, I'm going to be starting Christmas shopping pretty soon because I got to order some I got to order some stuff online. We are currently in a red zone due to so many cases of COVID-19 here in Ontario. So we can't travel anywhere. We can't go anywhere right now. So we're in a red zone. They don't want people in the red zone to travel outside of the red zone, which is um, completely... Um, acceptable I think um, to stop the spread of COVID-19 and you guys might see we're, we're kind of this is our last placement match and we lost our last two games we won our first two games in the placement matches and then we we lost the first we lost the next two so this is our very last placement match uh, when it comes down to it so I get a penalty unfortunately uh, I get a penalty there uh, which kind of sucks. I hooked the guy. I kind of went stick happy and tried to uh, stick lift him. But luckily for us, he actually uh, missed, which is perfect. He missed. He hit the post, which is absolutely perfect for us. So that means we still have the lead by one. So um, what I want to talk about in today's video um, this is obviously this would be something very different. You guys are going to see today. Um, obviously it's an episode or it's a video in the EASHL, um, which I plan on doing a lot more. So make sure you guys stay tuned for it. I plan on doing a lot more of EASHL videos this year. Um, we're having a lot of fun playing it and this was kind of weird. Uh, we didn't know what to do after the, the placement matches. There was nothing, there was nothing else to do. It wouldn't let me join back into the room for three on three. It wouldn't let me do it. Um, we placed 537 at the end um, out of, I don't know how many people. But, um, yeah, so I'm not telling you guys if we won or, or lost. Uh, I'll just tell you guys the way that, that's how we placed uh, in, I guess, in, in our division, which is the Pro Cup. We are currently in the Pro Cup, so we're pretty, we're pretty new. Obviously, I don't know why it's uh, lagging and skipping like that. And it never, never really did that in the game. There you go. I cut off that pass. Did a perfect block. But the one thing I want to talk about that's actually pretty awesome that happened to me recently. So once in a while, like every other month or every couple of months, I go on to an online casino. I go to an online casino. Since I can't go to a real one in real life... I can't go to one because they're all closed. I went to an online one. Um, I've been going to this website for, for a couple months. I tried it and I won some money and then I lost it. And then I won some money and then I lost it again. Um, but the other day I decided to put $10 down. And I decided like, oh, just put $10 down. They match it. so Or they, they give me a bonus um, if I deposit like so much. So if I deposit $10, they gave me they gave me another I think like twelve dollars or something so the game I had twenty two dollars total to spend so I went on this certain game and um, I went on a certain game then after a couple of tries I was down to like fifteen dollars or something like that I bet a, I bet a dollar twenty five um, for for the slot machine or yeah for the video slot machine whatever it was the game um, and then uh, all of a sudden I got a whole bunch of free spins, which was awesome. So I got 12 free spins. I don't know what happened in the game. I didn't really pay attention. I guess I should have. But um, yeah, so I got 12 free games. And then all of a sudden, 
this the like the part of the game it was like houdini like it was part of like the magic show whatever it was it was just it was just weird and it was i looked at it and it was like one of the hot games to play so everyone was winning on those games which is awesome so so i went on the game and then i got the 12 free spins and then the lady dropped down and then every time she comes down it's double it's double the money it's times two so long as you keep like matching things matching symbols you keep on going with those time two without actually like without losing your free spin without losing your free spins which is awesome so i kept on winning kept on winning kept on winning and i was up seven hundred dollars from fifteen dollars i was up to seven hundred dollars then I continued going, continued going, spent my bonus. That's how the website works. You got to spend your bonus before you can even cash out. Uh, I spent my bonus. Then I won another $700. And I was up to $900. And I was up a grand. I was up like $1,100 before my bonus ran out. And then my bonus ran out. And then I ended up with 900 and like 900 and something dollars at the end of it. It's like, okay, I'm going to cash out. I cashed out. And I couldn't believe how much I actually won on that on that machine. It's absolutely insane how much money I actually won on that. About over $900, which is crazy. And I never won that much ever in a, in a slot machine or any type of casino or anything like that. I never really won that type of money. So winning that money for the first time is absolutely terrifying for one. I'm the person, I'm the type of person that doesn't get a lot of money uh, regarding uh, for my disability. Uh, I do get money monthly for my disability that helps me. Uh, obviously, it pays my rent, it pays my bills. And then I usually have about $200 left at the end of the month for, to just spend the rest of the end of the month to spend for like anything that I need, either like deodorant or body wash, like, the essential stuff um, after I pay all my bills and everything like that. And then um, I decided to put ten dollars down because I was like, okay, why not? Why not? I never, like, I rarely go to the casino and I rarely bet money and I rarely buy scratch tickets or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not the type of person to do that all the time. And I know it can get addicting, um, but as soon as as soon as I won that much money and I knew I can cash out, I cashed out right away. I didn't take, I didn't go like, okay, I can maybe I can win. A couple more hundred dollars or something like that i didn't take the chance i took i just went out and cashed out right away uh as soon as i spent my bonus which is pretty amazing and th this time like i actually got 900 dollars, which is awesome and i couldn't i couldn't believe it, and i still can't believe it to to this day that i actually won that much and it it's gonna make my christmas shopping a lot easier this year especially because usually when I start buying Christmas presents, I only could buy it for a certain amount of people. I only could buy it for like five or six people, and that's about it. And I can't, I can't spend any more money because I have to save my money to spend on essential stuff. And especially in December, because we get our checks early. I get my check early in December, like really early, like the 20th of December, which is, and then that money's got to last me until the end of January, which is absolutely insane and and it's it's ridiculous uh, on how much money they actually give us and expect us to live on that uh, I'm not getting into I'm not going to get into those type of politics or anything like that but it's just it's absolutely ridiculous on how much money they actually give us and they think they expect us to live on our own to to pay rent to pay hydro to pay for food and stuff like that it's it's absolutely ridiculous but Coming out with a win with $900 extra on my bank is absolutely huge because I just paid off my credit card for my Xbox Series X and stuff. So obviously I can buy Christmas presents with that. But to have the actual money and actually I can actually have that money to spend and not put it on my credit card is it's it's awesome. It's actually really awesome. And I was really thinking about who am I going to buy presents for? Who's going to get presents? Who's not going to get presents? Because um, I want to buy presents for everyone. My sister, my sisters have, both my sisters have two kids. Uh, or like most, like my other sister too, my third sister, 
I have four sisters. I have, I think, yeah, I have one stepsister. So my fourth steps, uh, my fourth sister is my stepsister, and she has two kids. I don't, I don't buy for them, um, but because I don't see them because they live in Vancouver. And then the other kids from the other sister are, are older now, so they, they can either, they don't really need Christmas presents, and then my my closest sister my two closest sisters they have two kids and i can actually buy christmas presents for them this year um i always buy christmas presents for them every single year uh when it comes down to it um so i i try my best to get what they want and see how much i can actually spend and all that stuff and it's actually it it's awesome and it's actually it's actually a relief uh like a relief from from all that and it, it's it's awesome and i kind of wish uh, i kind of wish i went for a little bit more money but i didn't want to risk it and so i just i just kept it kept it just at 900 something dollars i forget how much it actually is um but just to get that and actually spend it on christmas presents for my family it's actually pretty amazing and I couldn't believe I actually won that much and it, it's it's a luck of a draw when it comes down to it when it comes down to these online casinos it really comes down to just luck and just timing and the perfect timing happened and I like the first time I got it I won over seven hundred dollars then I kept on betting to see if I can get more then I was down like four hundred dollars then I won it again back up to 900 or back up to like 1100 and then i had to spend my bonus to to obviously cash out because they're not going to give you the bonus money on top of your winnings like that's bonus money is the free money they give you that match it so so i just spent spent my bonus ended up with 900 dollars, and at the end of the night i just stopped and said that's that's enough i'm done i put 10 i went from 10 dollars. i went from 22 dollars actually but i actually went from 10 dollars to over $900 in about two hours, three hours I was playing. So, yeah, it, it, oh, brother, like, I didn't play for three hours. I played for like an hour. So making that much money in an hour from $10 is actually pretty amazing. And I probably won't be going back to that casino for quite a while <laughs> since I won that much. And then that night is like, okay, I'm, feel, I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling lucky. Um, then my mom picked me up a scratch ticket while she was at the store. She picked up like, scratch tickets all the time. She wins all the time too. And she puts the money away to go on trips and stuff uh, with my grandmother. Um, but um, can't go any trips this year. So they've just been saving up their money, just uh, just buying scratch tickets. And then she bought me one. And then I was like, okay, I'm feeling lucky tonight. I won, I won $900. Maybe I can win a little bit more money from the scratch ticket. And then unfortunately, I did not win from the scratch ticket. Which uh, which kind of sucks. So I was like, okay, my luck has run out. I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not doing it. And it's absolutely the perfect time to to actually hit that for that to happen. And I still can't I still can't believe it actually happened, guys. Like it's it's such a relief because for me I don't have I don't get a lot of money and so all that stuff. And my parents try to help me out. Obviously, my parents do help me out quite a lot. Uh, when it comes down to buying Christmas presents for, for the kids and everything like that, they just um, they get either they buy the Christmas present and they just put my name on it, which is awesome. Um, but this year, I actually go out. I actually can go out and actually buy them something, which is, which is awesome. So, yeah, it just I, I still can't believe, and I really wanted to talk about it in my last or my last couple of NHL videos, but um, I wanted. To, I wanted to talk about what happened on my Discord and everything like that with um, finding these different things with NHL be a goal or with NHL be a pro and these different outcomes that could happen if you score one goal or, or score no goals and get one assist or get two assists and no goals or get a goal and no assists and stuff like that and see where you actually end up in the draft um, without getting first. Because this year, nobody wants to be picked first overall because of the team. Um, nobody really wants to play for the New York Rangers. Uh, it kind of sucks that I did, um, that I got picked and a lot of people did get picked for this year's for NHL be a pro, which is unfortunate because everyone's be a pro is pretty much the same this year on YouTube, which kind of sucks. 
Um, there's no different variety when it comes down to the be a pros this year um, with other YouTubers doing different uh, different things, obviously. Uh, and also kind of sucks that when you ask for a trade, they don't even they don't even consider you. They don't even consider it like, all right, we'll think about it. We'll give you. OK, we'll think about it. We'll give it a couple games or a week or a month and we'll think about it. And um, if you still want to be traded, um, we'll put you on the trading block and stuff like that. And then, obviously, I think it should be your choice if you want to be traded or not. Do you say to a GM, like, hey, I want to be traded. Um, I don't feel this is the right team for me and stuff like that. Maybe you give different options like that and possibly move on from that team. Um, everything like that. So we tied it up with 2 minutes and 49 seconds left at the end of the third. I told you guys, this game is interesting. This game's uh this game was actually a lot of fun to play. There was pretty much no EA tilt when it comes down to it. Um obviously it takes them easy very easy them to score. They use the little tricks that the that the game has and stuff. We don't really use those tricks. We don't really try to use those tricks. We actually try to score like actual goals and clean goals and stuff like that. We actually try everything like that but um unfortunately the cheap goals actually do it so it, it kind of sucks but there's one minute left in the third so you guys can see the, where this is going um and the video is still going so it's probably going to be well i'm going to cut it off a little bit at the end so it's not it's actually not that long it's not that long enough uh video well, it's a it's a pretty good length video it's over 22 minutes or it's over 20 minutes long so it's a pretty good pretty good length video when it comes down to it but um anyways so if you guys if you guys plan on if you guys are old enough to go to the casino and all that stuff don't expect to win don't expect to win um like just have fun with it that's that's all i can say is just have fun with it be responsible with your with your money if you're if you just okay if you go to the casino like hey i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna play twenty dollars and that's it just play twenty dollars and if you win more take it out walk out that's you you're up if you go up if you're up in money go up like just just end it that's done you're gone even if you win extra five dollars from 20 if you if you win 25 dollars take it just move on because trust me um <laughs> before i won the 900 dollars, i lost a lot of money i didn't lose a lot of money but i lost money and I put about eighty dollars in so far, and I come out with nine hundred dollars, which is actually really good. Um, but there's eleven seconds left, uh, and they're up by one. They're up by one with eleven seconds left. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do we tie it up or do we lose? We tie it up. Look at that. We tied it up with eleven seconds left. Or even lower than that. I think it was like six seconds. I think it was six seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds left. In the third period. And we tied up. At this point we're like. Hold the puck. Hold the puck. We'll just go into overtime. We won't focus. We'll go into overtime. Nice little cheeky shot blocked by me. Yeah but if you're going to bet. Just do it responsibly. Uh, don't be an idiot. When it comes down to it. Like you Just don't be an idiot. That's all I got to say. Just play smart, play at your own pace, like just be responsible at the casino. That's that's all I can really say to you guys. Like if you do it once in a while, if you're old enough, you do it once in a while and you have fun, that's great. And if you just put $20 down or $10 or if you put up 50 or something like that and if you win or if you lose, just, just, it, it, just think if you had you had fun. You had fun spending your money. And just be responsible with it. Don't go overboard. Don't go into debt because of it. Like it's just it's not worth it. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, you're giving some billionaire more money. If you if you keep on putting money in, you're just gonna give them more money. I, it's just the end of it. And I decided to put ten dollars down the other day and I won. That's it's the luck of the draw, pretty much. It's just it's just pure luck on I actually won that much. And just going from a dollar twenty-five 
like per bet, it's absolutely insane how much I actually won. Because you usually don't win that much money when you just put a dollar twenty-five down. And obviously, I kept on spinning and spinning every time, but I was down. I was down like fourteen or fifteen dollars before I even won the first seven hundred. And then it said I had spent my bonus to cash out, so I was like, okay, I gotta spend like two hundred dollars. So I just kept on going, kept on going, and then I won another seven hundred. And then my bonus ran out, and then I ended up with nine over nine hundred dollars, which is absolutely insane. And I still can't believe it to this day, guys. Like I, I still cannot believe it. I'm looking at the website too, that I got my money that I'm withdrawing. It takes, it takes a, like, it takes a good twenty four hours for for the money to transfer into your bank account, which is fine for me. I have I have the online transfer codes and everything like that, so I'm gonna get my money no matter what. I'm gonna get my money. But um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Cause I was I was actually worried about this like this year when it comes down to buying Christmas presents for everyone in my family, and it, it's hard to decide what person you're gonna buy presents for. It, it's absolutely it's it's hard. It's super super hard, and it's just it's it's. It, it's it's um it's it's a struggle it's a struggle trying to trying to pick people like oh i'm gonna buy you a christmas present this year i'm gonna buy you a christmas present this year like it's just it's hard and now i don't have to worry about that i could buy anybody a christmas present which is absolutely awesome and um it's it it took it takes up a lot of the relief off of me um, takes a lot of stress off of me because with a person that doesn't have a lot of money, it's, um, it's, it's a struggle when it comes down to it. But here we go on a breakaway. There we go. We get the hat trick. We get the win. We won our place, our last placement match, which is awesome. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, if you guys want to see some more EASHL stuff, please let me know in the comments below. But also, you guys can tell me by smashing the like button and subscribing if you guys haven't already. Uh, there'll be a link down below to my Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to follow me there. But anyways, that's where we place Dirty Mike and the Boys, 539th. Um, we are gold. I'm gold tier level one. Um, so, but um, anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track, keep my head up